the remainder of the partially collapsed condo in Surfside, Florida, where 24 people are confirmed dead so far, was demolished on Sunday night ahead of the arrival of a tropical storm in the region, however, search and rescue efforts for the 121 people who remain unaccounted for is expected to resume soon. Just 30 minutes before the demolition, a county judge denied an emergency motion from a woman seeking to enter the building to rescue pets. According to the Miami Herald, the plaintiff said she had knowledge of a cat in one of the units in the still-standing portion of the tower. But the judge denied the petition citing the burden it would place on search and rescue efforts. Previously Kava said every effort had been made to rescue pets believed stuck in the remaining portion of the building but that no animals were found. Rescue teams have been carefully scouring through the rubble of the collapsed building for over 11 days so far and in that time they have managed to recover the bodies of 24 deceased individuals. Around 121 people remain unaccounted for and the hope of finding anyone alive is fading rapidly, as the last living person was pulled from the rubble on the day of the collapse itself. Local officials, however, have not given up, with Surfside Mayor Charles Burkett pointing to a BBC documentary, where they pulled a lady in Bangladesh out after 17 days. We're not even near that. Tropical Storm Elsa is expected to make landfall sometime later this week, which may further complicate rescue efforts. We'll keep watching and we're prepared to deal with the impacts of the tropical storm, Governor Ron DeSantis said during a Sunday press conference. Demolishing remainder of Miami condo should accelerate recovery of missing people, Mayor says, Forbes, remainder of Surfside condo brought down in demolition 11 days after partial collapse, Miami Herald. The rest of the partially collapsed Surfside condo has been demolished, CNN.